Pick a Pine Tree by Patricia Tote, illustrated by Jarvis. Pick a pine tree from the lot. Slim and tall or short and squat. One with spiky needle clumps, scaly bark or sappy bumps. Long straight limbs or branches bent. Mmm, just smell that piney scent. Lift the tree above your head. Bundle it upon your sled. Or, if you live very far, bring it home atop your car. Now... Move aside a lamp or chair. Clear away a section where your tree will sit, tall and grand, snug and sturdy in its stand. Trim the trunk a little bit, just enough so it will fit. Slip it in and turn screws tight. They will hold your tree upright. Fill with water to the brink. Give your thirsty tree a drink. Then... Find the trimmings stored within bulging boxes, rusty tins, paper bags, a wooden case. Bring them to that special place there beside your tree. But wait! Don't decorate alone. Call some people on the phone. Ask your friends to come and stay. Host a decorating day. Stretch along some twinkling lights, a colored mix or simply white. Fat round bulbs or pointy tips, bubble lights or candle clips. Start up top or near the base, wrap around and tuck in place. Next, hang ornaments upon your tree. What kinds of trinkets will they be? Jolly Santas, dancing elves, wooden reindeer, jingle bells, lacy snowflakes, paper dolls, candy canes and bright glass balls. With loops of thread or wire hooks, hang them all in little nooks. Add the final touches now, garlands strung from bow to bow, strands of tinsel on the tips falling down in silver drips. Then, Grab a footstool, climb right up, set something wonderful on top. A golden star, a velvet bow, an angel dressed in flowing robes. Lay a tree skirt down below, add some houses flecked with snow, a train that chugs around a track, secret presents in a sack. At last it's time to make it shine. Plug in lights along the floor. Look, it's not a pine tree anymore. It's a Christmas tree. Gather round the tree to sing. Let your joyful voices ring. Celebrate as nighttime falls. Merry Christmas, one and all. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified every time we upload a new read-aloud book for kids here at the Story Harbor. See you soon!